we are asked to find a degree three polynomial function with real coefficients with zeros of x equals negative three minus five i and x equals negative one, and the vertical intercept is zero comma negative 68. We will build the function in the form shown here below, where a is a constant and r sub one, r sub two, and r sub three are the roots or zeros of the polynomial function. Because we have a degree three polynomial function, we will need three binomial factors, but notice right now we're only given two zeros, but because we have the complex zero of negative three minus five i, the conjugate is also a zero, which is negative three plus five i. So let's let r sub one equal negative one, r sub two equal negative three minus five i, and r sub three equal negative three plus five i which means the polynomial function is f of x equals a times the quantity x minus negative one times the quantity x minus the complex number negative three minus five i times the quantity x minus the complex number of negative three plus five i. And now we need to find the product of these three factors. There's a couple ways to find this product here but I think we'll go ahead and just clear the parentheses and multiply like we normally do. So let's clear the parentheses and simplify x minus negative one. We would have a times the quantity x plus one times the quantity, again we need to subtract the complex number or if it's helpful we can think of distributing negative one which gives us x plus three plus five i And then for the last factor, we have x, and then subtracting the complex number or distributing negative one gives us plus three minus five i. And now let's find the product of the last two factors here. We find this product by distributing each term in this factor into the last factor. So we distribute x, distribute three, and distribute five i. Let's begin by distributing the x. x times x is x squared. x times three gives us plus three x. x times negative five i gives us minus five x i. And now we distribute the three. Three times x gives us plus three x. Three times three gives us plus nine. And then three times negative five i gives us minus 15 i. And now we distribute the five i. Five i times x gives us plus five x i. Five i times three gives us plus 15 i. And then finally, five i times negative five i gives us minus 25 i squared. And now we need to simplify this product. Negative five x i plus five x i simplifies to zero, and so does negative 15 i plus 15 i. Also notice here we have minus 25 i squared, and since i squared is equal to negative one, this is minus 25 times negative one, which simplifies to plus 25. So this product here simplifies to x squared, three x plus three x is plus six x, and then we have nine minus 25i squared, which simplifies to nine plus 25, which gives us 34. And now we need to find this product. To find this product, we distribute each term of the binomial into the trinomial. So we begin by distributing x. So we have x times x, which is x cubed, plus x times six x gives us plus six x squared. And then x times 34 gives us plus 34 x. And now we distribute the one which gives us plus x squared plus six x plus 34. And we simplify again. We have x cubed and then six x squared plus one x squared is seven x squared. And then 34 x plus six x is plus 40 x. And then we have plus 34. And now we can use the vertical intercept of zero comma negative 68 to determine the value of a.
The ordered pair 0 comma negative 68 indicates that f of 0 is equal to negative 68, which means if we substitute 0 for x, the function value must be negative 68. Performing the substitution gives us negative 68 is equal to a times the quantity. Again, if we substitute zero for x, we have zero plus zero plus zero plus 34, or just 34. And now solving for a, we divide both sides by 34. Simplifying, we just get a is equal to negative 68 divided by 34, which is negative two. Which means the polynomial function is f of x, equals negative two times the quantity x cubed plus seven x squared plus 40 x plus 34. And now for the last step, we distribute negative two, which gives us f of x equals negative two x cubed minus 14 x squared minus 80 x minus 68. This is a polynomial function that satisfies all of the given conditions. I hope you found this helpful.